Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a couple of my favorites and a new foundation today. So as far as what I have on for foundation, I did pick up the e.l.f. the Soft Glam. And actually the first time that I got this, I got the Light Neutral and that ended up being way too yellow and I had to take it back in exchange. Um, I actually got shade 14, the Fair Cool, and that's what I have on today. I think I probably could have gone for a Light Cool, but um, since the Light Neutral didn't work, I made a safe bet instead and the Fair Cool will definitely go ahead and be my winter shade, um, but as far as summertime, I'm pretty sure I could have gone with the light cool. It just, this was a safe bet and I knew that it would work. And I added in some of the Soul Face and Body Bronzer in the Fair. <clears throat> so again, I did go ahead and mix these two together to go ahead and get the color that I have on today. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for uh, blusher and bronzer, I got out the Made by Mitchell uh, Curve Case, and I have mine in light. So this is the Curve Case, and you can get this over on Beauty Bay. I went ahead and used this palette today. These are all creams, and I used uh, this for my bronzer. And then I went ahead and used this for my blush. So this one over here in the corner, and that's what I have on the very front of the cheek here. And then as far as what I have on the back of the, <clears throat> excuse me, cheek, I went ahead and used the ColourPop Let's Dance blush. So again, I guess I mixed blushes today. So I had this one on. And let's see, as far as highlighter today, um, I'm really enjoying the Revolution Bubble Balm. I have mine in rose, and so it's a pearly, and it's um it's a balm, but it doesn't have any stick to it. So you just go ahead and kind of do this to go ahead and get your highlighter, and it does you know a nice. It has a little bit of a pearl, but a pretty wet look to it. And it wasn't very expensive. I got mine over at Target, and I've really been liking it. Um, let's see. I have had this uh, makeup on for about three and a half hours. That's the first touch-up that I've done, um, other than the lips. And for the lips today, again, I did touch them up. Ooh, wrong one. So I've... Uh, the Superstay Matting Crayon in 145, and then this is a really good one from LA Colors. It's there's uh, Shimmer Jelly, and so I have these two on. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the eye look, or for the eye look, got out the Flora Story Palette. This is by Odin's Eye, and it's actually a collab with. Um, Makeup just for fun, Amanda. And so I did go ahead and use this one today. Had this on the inner corner. Then uh, this one in the crease. This one on the outer corner. This one on the inner part of the lid. And this one on the outer part of the lid. So it's a really good palette. And I've really enjoyed it. And it's a great summertime palette. Can any of the Odin eye, uh, eyeshadows just tend to be really good. And so that's what I have on there. Did go ahead and use an M-Ride eyeliner. There's this. No, this is Hadayim. Hadayim? Yeah. Here. So, is that going to focus at all? It's H-A-N-D-A-I-Y-A-N, and it's off of Timu, and you can get these in packs. They're gel eyeliners. As far as the way that the eye look came out, and as far as my impressions on the Elf uh, Soft Glam Satin Foundation, it, for me, it's... It, 
not medium coverage. This to me feels like full coverage. Um, I think it's very pretty and it has a pretty finish, but it wasn't at all what I was expecting. I was really expecting medium with more of a glowy kind of look. And this is really more of a matte for me. And it's, um, like I said, I like the finish. I think that's very pretty, um, but it definitely feels very full coverage to me. So I'm comparing it to things like the True Match by L'Oreal and the Superstay C Plus by Maybelline. And this one feels more full coverage to me than either of those two. And um, other than that, I've been pretty much liking it. And I, hmm, I, I'm really thinking of going back and getting shade 20, which would be light cool for my summer shade, and then keeping this shade 14 fair cool for the winter time. So um, yeah, again, I just found it to be a little different than what it was advertised as. But I still like it, and I think of it, or I think it's going to be more of a fall and winter kind of foundation for me than it is actually a summer kind of foundation. But other than that, I think that's all video for today. And so um, thank you and have a great day. Bye.